Congratulations. Okay. There you go. This is for you for completely ruining the industry. What's up everybody, it's Timothy and today I'm going to be serving up some hard pills to swallow. So you probably clicked on this video because you're a photographer or videographer and you want to know why you aren't making any money. And the reason to put it ever so simply, it's you. If you are a photographer or videographer that has done free work in the past, yes, I'm talking to you. Who does what other person in any other industry works for free. Can you imagine anyone else in any other industry, whether they're bakers, businessmen, carpenters, painters, plumbers, construction workers, working for free? This is a topic I have gone off on multiple times to other photographer friends, videographer friends, or just people in general, because we are killing it ourselves. And I'm going to say, wait, I've never done it. I've never worked for free in my entire life. Even when I moved to this city, I never worked for free. I may have lowered my prices just to get jobs and get frequent customers, but not for free. I spent time, I've spent years learning. I went and got an education. It, uh, oh. The reason why I decided to do this video is because this morning I watched this video by Jessica Kobisi, who where she addresses the same topic. A local business wanted me to shoot their fashion show for free, so I just didn't show up, and the next day their Facebook page invited me to like the other photographer's page who did it for free. If you're not gonna do it, someone else is gonna do it for free, unfortunately. That is what is just gonna kill the industry. And I figured, I'd put my two cents into it too. I want to say I get the appeal of working for free just so you can get clients and get a job so you can build your portfolio, but it's not the way to go about it. If every one of us charges for our time and effort and work, all of us would be getting paid and no one will be expecting services for free. I am telling you guys this is a bad spiral and it's getting out of control and this is the reason why. Once I was messaging with this uh, bakery owner and they were not open yet, they were starting to open up and we started discussing what they needed, how many of like how many pictures they needed, how many videos they needed, how long, blah, blah, blah. And then it got to pricing. <sighs> And in their email, they had said they didn't have a budget for pictures or videos, but, but they would tell their friends and everybody else if I do a good job. And that way, because of word of mouth, I would get clients. In that moment, I lost my mind, I lost my cool, and I emailed them back and I'm paraphrasing her, and I basically said, I get it, okay, you have no money, then you had no business messaging me for these services and wasting my time. I, as your customer, would never come to your bakery, ask for two dozens of this and two dozens of that, and then tell you, oh, I don't have the money for it, but once I taste all of your baked goods, I'll just let everybody know you're a good baker. And then you'll get more, more customers that way. Do you see how crazy and ludicrous that sounds when you flip the script on someone in a different industry? No one should be working for free. Our time is valuable. We spent hours, come on, listen, if you're if you're starting off as a photographer or videographer, you, A, learning how to use the camera is gonna take you for maybe a few weeks if you're amazing, a few years perhaps, learning how to edit is gonna take you months and months of work, not just watching, practicing, learning, upgrading, new features all the time, learning how to shoot, learning how to use a camera, angles, the rules. There's so much that goes into this. Why? Why give it away for free? Eh, but Tim, Peter McKinnon said work for free. So obviously not everyone's gonna have the same opinion or even agree with me. Look, for instance, some of my friends think it is completely stupid to ever work for free, and I fundamentally disagree with that. Yeah, I know he did, and I completely support that video. I just think people misinterpreted what he was saying. I don't think he was saying message people and then work for them for free. His example was he liked the company, and he just shot their products for free. He's building his portfolio, spending money on 
things he's going to enjoy later, aka the coffee and the t-shirts and the merch or whatever it is. Build your portfolio that way. Do not pull the rug out under other photographers. Not cool. What I'm trying to say is your time, your skills, your effort, it's worth something. People that are hiring you do not understand the amount of work it took for you to get to where you are. Just for you to afford a good quality camera, you had to work for it. That money didn't fall out of the sky. And hey, to a certain degree, I do sympathize with those of you that do free work so you can get clients, a portfolio, a reel, but if you really want that job, don't do it for free. Charge lower than your competition. Charge lower. Just don't charge nothing. But yeah, that's just my two cents on the topic. I have linked Jessica's video down below. She makes really, really good points about this topic too, so you should definitely check that video out. I've also linked Peter McKinnon's video down below in the description because that's the video in question about working for free. And if you don't know who he is, he's just one of the biggest photographer, videographer people on the platform. So check it out, listen to what he says in the video, and then tell me if I'm wrong. Well, people, that is it for me. If you enjoyed this rant, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have not already, smash just that like button because it helps this channel grow. And definitely don't forget to turn on your bell icon for future videos. I've been good. I've been good with uploading recently. Now let's see how long it lasts. <laughs> Peace, peeps. What, you didn't think I was going to eat it?